friend uh, Nobox7 on YouTube. Uh, just thought I'd like to say that uh, don't ever let anyone tell you you can't do or should not do what you're doing the way you're doing it. And I hear that a lot in my industry and well, hobby profession. And you'll always run into people who like to do things their own way. I mean, I'm an injection molder by trade and some people swear by magnetic flattens, whereas I swear by finger clamps to hold the die on the flatten mechanically. I mean, I don't trust magnetic flattens. And in the same business, basically, you've got people who swear by efficiency and spade terminals and their own set designs and, well, basically they can have them. They can have their own designs. You do your own thing and don't ever let anyone tell you you can't do your own thing your own way. No, it's late, late at night, I'm pretty tired right now, so I can't think of much else to say, but I just thought I'd show you who I am and give you a bit of encouragement to keep on going. I know you've stated in your video this will be your last what, last torch video. I certainly hope to see more electronics and alternative energy videos. I mean, I'm not a big fan of super efficient or eco-friendly energy. I mean, look, I've got V8 engines that got stuff from the 1900s here. It just burns fuel and does nothing much more. And great fun, really. But, yeah, don't, don't ever let anyone tell you you can't do what you're doing simply because it's not efficient or not their way of doing it. But you're exactly right with your spade terminals. You've got to take something like that and use it to transfer 140 amps or so to this steel plate first thing that's going to burn. Common sense is to obviously attach wherever you possibly can with mechanical hard connections like soldering or you know, ring terminals. And you've pretty much nailed that in your description and that's great. Relying on spade terminals to transfer a lot of current in an electrolytic cell is sort of like relying on a switch like this transfer say 200 amps when you really need a switch like this that can transfer 200 amps without even breaking a sweat and as you said hard wiring or soldering these plates in your cells is the only way to go when you really want efficient current transfer if you're just somebody who's just relying on one spade terminal per plate the first thing that's going to go is a spade terminal and you're also going to lose obviously voltage and current. It's going to overheat and start burning. As I've seen on many of the air conditioning compressors that are scrapped, the first thing that starts burning when the current goes up is these things. Whereas if the compressor is hardwired, or either the motor or the contactor gets a better chance to burn than the compressor terminals. But they burn out 